Hey everybody, welcome back to another segment. We're here with Dr. Laura talking about probiotics, a very hot topic with our yeah. customers. So Dr. Mm -hmm. Laura, why are people loving probiotics and what are they good for? Probiotics is really becoming a trending supplement and a necessary one for a lot of people. The main reasons why you should consider taking a probiotic would be skin concerns, immune system concerns, and of course digestive concerns. Mm. So it's a great way to bring your body back into balance and keep those symptoms under control. Something we all need. Yeah. So there are a lot of probiotics on the market. I know I personally find it overwhelming when it comes to picking one. What should we be looking for? A really good thing to start off with is making sure that there's nothing added to your probiotics. Okay. So uh, a lot of times the back of the label, read the label before you purchase them and look to make sure there's no prebiotics. Okay. So two names on the back of the label to look out for. Number one is FOS, that's just a fancy long word for a type of fiber, okay. and inulin, which is another type of fiber. These are great to feed the probiotics and help your body, but a lot of people aren't ready for that yet and it can okay. cause more upset. Okay. Hmm. And what about the dosage? There seems to be a wide range of dosages you can take. Yes, and that's a great question. So for most people, anywhere between 10 and 25 billion okay. is a great place to start per day. Okay. If you have any more serious inflammatory concern or you've just been on a real course of antibiotics, for example, higher than 50 to 100 billion is definitely necessary. Okay, so 10 to 25 yep. every day, we got that. <laughs> and what about kids? Should children be taking probiotics? Children can definitely take probiotics. I recommend children specific formulas because the doses are much lower and they're often in a powder form, easily to mix with apple juice or in a smoothie. Wonderful. So a lot of great things about probiotics. Um, any other tips that you have for us? Well, I recommend a probiotic vacation, believe oh, it or not, right. every okay. so often. Yeah. yeah, so take your take your probiotic for the full month or two months, however the bottle long lasts, and then actually take a break for a month or two. Give your body a chance to get back into balance and switch up your probiotics. Oh, okay. so we shouldn't be taking the same brand all the time? It's always nice to switch up every six months, three months, or even every year to actually give your body a chance to really keep testing that gut bacteria and to give you maximum results. Awesome, well thank you Dr. Laura for the great tips and advice on probiotics. I know we both learned something today <laughs> and hopefully our customers did as well.